Hi, Rudy, Cloud and Painting Studio, back with a video first in a while. Um, I've been really busy uh, with commissions, which is good, but it's left no time uh, for doing any videos. Um, so I think it's rather fitting that I'm going to do a real speed paint of this uh, Warlord Games plastic English Civil War pikeman. Um, you're going to need um, a lot of these in your average regiment. It could be uh, 40 um and getting through a lot of them quickly is going to be vital to getting the army on the table and um, to that end i've primed it with army painter leather brown um, and that is going to provide the color for a lot of the the extra details on the model like belts hair hat boots and the pike itself um, and in that way there's very little actually um needing to be uh, painted with a brush good time saver so I've got all my colours on my wet palette. The first one I'm going to use um, is Vallejo Game Extra Opaque Heavy Blue. And he's got a blue jacket and blue trousers. And then I'll leave the collar to be painted later. Um, if I do get any of the brown areas covered, I will just come back with some leather brown out the pot and tidy up. I'm going to tackle his face um, with some army painter Barbarian Flesh. We'll be using a, a wash later, so don't mind if we um, obscure any of the deeper details. They will get picked out. Some army painter Banshee Brown, paint his gloves. Have some Vallejo Game Color Ghost Grey. It's very light, almost white. Some leggings or uh, breeches I suppose we might call them to pick out um, and his collar as well Vallejo game color heavy red to pick out the cloth ties around the bottom of the breeches there. Pick out the metallics on the model with some army painter plate mail metal. Not forgetting the pike um, and also a sword. That's all the base colours um, applied. So time for a wash. This is some Army Painter Strong Tone in a one-to-one -one mix with Army Painter Quick Shade Mixing Medium. Now our strong tone wash has dried. It's pulled in the recesses, added some nice definition. And if we get the original colours out and just do a couple of really quick highlights. We'll finish the look.
And here we have the beginnings of a pike and shot infantry regiment for the English Civil War. Um, these lads would perhaps suit Prince Rupert's blue coats or many other um, infantry regiments that went to battle on both sides in blue. Probably less than 10 minutes um, a model, excluding uh, drying time. But if you're painting all 40 at once, um, I dare say by the time you'd put the wash on the 40th model, um, you'd be ready to do the brief highlighting on the, the first model. It's that waiting for the wash is the, the longest part. Um, English Civil War, um, I think that some of these regiments probably paint up exceptionally quickly if you're willing to cut a few corners. And perhaps if you want to do 28mm big battles then um, the English Civil War is the one to go for if you want models on the table quickly. Plenty of opportunity for very fancy um, unit leaders and commanders um, whereas the, the rank and file come together nice and quickly. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.